Hey everyone, to continue the theme of our last few videos, we're going to continue down the road of paginated reports. And today I'm going to show you a small quirk that has to do with data labels and paginated reports. So to set up our example, I've created a data set in Power BI Desktop, and it, it's got one table called Fact Sales. And I published this to Power BI Service. In my paginated report, I've connected to that, uh, to that data source. And then I've created a two column table with three sales order numbers and their unit prices. So it's essentially a six cell table just to kind of set up our example. Now in paginated reports with bar charts, it's, it, you can add data labels and it kind of seems like you can move them around left, right, on top, below, that kind of thing. And for the most part, that is true. However, you're still at the mercy of how much real estate you have available. So you can see I've added data labels to this bar chart here. And it kind of, if I click on the data label itself, it kind of seems like on the right hand properties bar, it kind of seems like in the position area, I can change this. I can change it from auto to top, top left, top right, left center, et cetera. So let's take a quick look at what it looks like when I leave it as auto. Go ahead and hit run. Now you can see that bar on the left-hand side, that data label is still within the bar. So let's say our requirement from our customer is to have all data labels on top of the bar. Let's see if we can change that to from auto to top and let's see what happens. Now, unfortunately, the data label didn't actually move to the top of the bar. And the reason why is because there's not enough real estate available. So it, it does want to put it on top of the bar, but when there's not enough room, it'll default to the top of the bar itself. So there's a cool little trick we can use to get around that. And that is changing the maximum of the Y axis. So if we click on the axis over here and right click, go ahead and hit vertical axis properties. You can see on our axis options, there's four different, uh, four different drop downs here for minimum, maximum, interval, and interval type. And you can see there's actually a, uh, an option to include a function. So under maximum, rather than auto, let's go ahead and hit this F of X button and create a function. And rather than doing auto, let's, let's actually choose um, the maximum of, the, of the, uh, the actual label that's coming in here. So in your Y axis, you've got total price. Let's choose the maximum of that. So we'll choose equals max. Go to our data set and hit total price. And I think we want to remove this first right here because we don't want the first, we want the total total price. And let's go ahead and, and multiply this times 1.5. Um, so this would dynamically change based on the maximum price and multiply it by 1.5. And that's just for the Y axis. So if we hit OK and OK, let's go ahead and run this. So now you can see all data labels are now on top of the bar. I might want to choose for this example, maybe you know, 1.2, 1.1, something like that. So it doesn't look quite as small of the actual chart itself. Um, but you can see this actually changes the data labels to on top of the bars. So a fun little uh, workaround dealing with data labels and paginated reports. Uh, thank you everyone so much for listening.